okay, I've woken up feeling absolutely awful. Don't want to be here. To top it all, my bank has decided that there was fraudulent activity on my card and has blocked it. I'm having an absolute nightmare. Good morning, everybody. In this video, what you should be seeing is my journey from KK to a beautiful idyllic island to go diving in Indonesia. It didn't quite work out that way. I'm just going to let you watch. Goodness, I'm so sad. I'm leaving homey for the last time and I'm going to catch a plane which is about 40 minutes and then I need to find my onward travel because It looks like my flight is delayed. This is what we've been waiting for, an aircraft to turn up. The passengers are still disembarking from the previous flight. I think they just want to get us on, to be honest. Made it on board. Quite sad to be leaving, but yeah, time to move on. That was a really quick flight, only about 40 minutes. So I am room 205, this way, 205, oh, okay, this is nice, oh, how lovely, a room to myself, right, let me put my bags down and I will give you a room tour. Okay, so it's a small room, we have got a wardrobe, a desk, with a kettle, water, coffee, television up there, air conditioning, a nice little bed. And in here we've got a lovely toilet, shower. Oh, I've even got a hairdryer and the view out the windows. Okay. So yeah, my first impressions of this little hotel are really, really good. It is called the Check-In Hotel. I will leave all its details down below. So now that I've dumped my bags, I've got to go to the port to see if I can't organise a ferry for tomorrow to cross the border. So let's go. Okay, I found the ferry terminal. Now I just need to find somewhere to get a ticket. Easier said than done, really, isn't it? Let's just hope without getting run over, eh? <laughs> okay, this is looking hopeful. Ticket encounter. Fabulous. Let's just see if I can't get a ticket now. Just spoken to somebody, and the only time I can go direct is on a Friday. Today is a Wednesday. So looking at this, I'm not going to be going tomorrow. I will go the next day. I can go tomorrow, but that means going to another island first and then another one. And instead of taking four hours, it will take like six or eight hours. So I'm now going to go to a ticketing office to see if I can't get a ticket to go direct on Friday. But I don't have accommodation either. So, oh my goodness me. But he says, yeah, there is nothing online to book this or there's no information online the only way is to come here right so that's where i was just a minute ago and i've come along to this little office here and they have given me a card now what they've told me to do is phone the gentleman on this card and get him to book me a ticket to go on friday so not tomorrow but the next day and then I've got to be here at 7 a.m. in the morning and I pay him 200 ringgit for my ticket. He gives me the ticket and then we go. Oh, there's a motorbike coming past. So what could possibly go wrong here? <laughs> I always seem to be apologizing for messing things up. I think I've got all the instructions right. So now I'm going to go back to my hotel and actually I'm going to go to the ATM first, 
draw some money out, go back to my hotel, see if I can extend for one extra night. And then just hope for the best. <laughs> and as I say, what could possibly go wrong? This is my dinner tonight. It's called me curry haram, which means fried chicken curry. I just asked for it to be medium spice, so let's hope it's really nice. <laughs> it's, it's a bit spicy. <laughs> I'm going to have a nice early night tonight and hopefully wake up energised tomorrow, ready for my exciting adventure. Good morning. So, so far things are going okay. One, I ordered a taxi. Two, I've arrived at the port. Three, I now have, wait for it, I now have a ticket. So the time is now about quarter past eight in the morning and boarding starts for the ferry at half past nine. So yeah, so far, fingers crossed, things seem to be going well. Right, so I've just come here and dropped my bag off. So that will be arriving when I get to the other end, hopefully. Hey, it's all looking good. I've done passport control gone through. I was the only person at the foreign passport office. It was all for Malaysian and Indonesian. And now I'm making my way to the ferry. So it is actually so far, and I don't want to jinx it, but it's all looking very smooth. Right, I'm on platform C down here. Oh dear. That's a remarkably small boat. I think my camera's steaming up again. Wow. So this gentleman says, I've got to go upstairs because it's better. Right, let's go. Oh, lummy, lummy, lummy. Last. 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 Okay. I'm on. On and upstairs. That's where the driver sits. Okay. This looks good, I'm the only one on so far. So I'm on, I've got my seat and I'm settled. And this will be me for the next five hours. Up past 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. Yeah, about five hours. I hope it's flat. <laughs> and we're off, four minutes early, unheard of. <laughs> Well, that was a bumpy ride. So glad to be here. So now I've got to go through, get my visa on arrival and find my hotel, which I have now booked. Okay, I found my bag. Oh my goodness, look what we got to climb up. That is terrifying. Now we all go on a bus. That's all our bags there. You can just see my backpacks that on the top. When I crossed over the border on the boat and I have to say the boat journey was horrific there was people being sick oh it was really really bumpy when I booked the ticket I said do I need to get a visa before I leave no it's Indonesia you can get a visa on arrival so I'm like okay so how do I pay for this in cash or card no visa card visa card I'm like right okay no problem I won't take out sorry any more Malaysian money and I can't get Indonesian money until obviously I cross the border. I crossed over the border and they said, have you got a visa ma'am? And I'm like, no, I need to get a visa on arrival. So they take me round into this little office and a lady was there saying, right, that will be for your visa. And I'm like, well, I haven't got any because I haven't got any currency yet because obviously I've just arrived. So I need to find an ATM. She's like, no ATM. I said, well, the guy says I can pay by visa. No, no visa. What do you suggest that I do? Um, I've got 20 US dollars. No, it will be 35 US dollars. 
oh so if I pay you the 20 US dollars and spend the remainder in the last bit of the Malay currency that I've got no it has to be in one currency next a guy comes in all in his finery and I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna get deported and he's like what are you doing in my country why are you here I'm like Oh my goodness. And I'm sat there making smaller and smaller and smaller. After putting out all the, what he must have thought, me putting out, like, I've got little bits of currency from each country I've been to, but when I left, I hadn't used it all. Most of it is pennies. Luckily, I had 60 UK pounds on me. So he turned around and says, I'll take 40 of those for the visa, which is more than it should have been. But at that stage, all I wanted to do is get out of that office. So they stamped my passport. I then had to obviously get to my hotel. So I went outside and there was these guys on these like, they weren't taxi people. They were just guys on motorbikes. And he says, I'll take you to the ATM. Got to the ATM, my card didn't work. <laughs> You can't write this. Eventually, long story short, I managed to get some money, paid to the motorbike driver, and he dropped me off at my hotel. Wow. Okay, so this is my new room. It's 3.09. There's construction going on around here. On booking.com, this is classed as passable. Right, so we've got the bathroom. The mould is, um, yeah. I'm not sure I want to shower. I'll come out dirtier than when I went in. <laughs> no candle on that one. And a view. Actually, the view's not too bad. <laughs> and I'm really not quite sure what these stains on the bedding are. Oh dear. <laughs> There's a footprint. Somebody's obviously been standing in the bed. Oh my word. <laughs> Never mind. I went to move this. And it's, it's, it's not actually attached. It's, it's balanced up. Oh, it's balanced there. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. It doesn't look like this on the photographs online, I can tell you that. And I started to feel unsafe. My door didn't lock properly, the bolt didn't work, the chain had been pulled off, and I'm like, I suddenly don't feel safe. For the first time since I left the UK in November 2022, I didn't feel safe. Okay, I've woken up feeling absolutely awful this morning. I am full up with a cold. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh my goodness. My friend Sam has helped me out with a flight to get out of here because I was really struggling to find one. And then to top it all, my bank has decided that there was fraudulent activity on my card and has blocked it. Oh, I'm having an absolute nightmare. So later on today, I'm going to get a grab or any kind of taxi and head over to the airport and jump on the flight. The only flight that Sam could get me was a first class ticket out. And at this point, I just, I'm done. I need to leave. So that was like £200, which actually for a first class fight is not bad. So the plan is to leave here today and I'm taking a flight to Jakarta, which is the capital of Indonesia. So then hopefully I will be able to pick up reasonably priced flights from anywhere because it's a main international hub. That's the plan anyway. But I might actually just book a hotel room and lay low for a couple of days to get over this. <laughs> it's character building, they say. It's character building. <laughs> I'm in a taxi on my way to the airport now and it is absolutely pouring with rain. Okay, I've arrived at the airport way too early. Can't check in until 12, but it's now 10. But I've just bought myself 
a coffee, and two hard boiled eggs. Bless me. So I'm now sat on the floor, which is actually, I have to say, cleaner than anything in the hotel room that I've just left. <laughs> Waiting for check-in to open. There are no words. There's no point in speaking because there are no words. I'm sat on the floor at the airport. What the heck? Landed in Jakarta. Now I've got to try and find my way to get my luggage back. But it was a really nice flight. So thank you, Sam, for saving me and helping me out. I have never been so happy in my entire life to be in a hotel room with no mould, with clean bedding and a kettle. It's just been a stressful few days. Oh, I am so happy to be here. I'm full up with a cold. I feel poopy. <laughs> but I keep telling myself, how am I going to appreciate the good stuff if I don't go through a bad stuff? But isn't it really shitty when you go through the bad stuff? <laughs> right, I am going to go and have a shower. <laughs> I've had a couple of nights here. I was running a temperature. I think it was the stress of everything coming onto me. And I just felt horrific. So now I am sat in Jakarta. I'm in my hotel room just having a, a quick coffee. Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> um, I'm waiting for my flight which is at about quarter past two this afternoon. And I'm going to fly back to KL. And then I'm probably gonna spend a night in KL and then try and find the cheapest way possible to get back to Langkawi because I've got a friend who's in Langkawi at the moment and I'm going to sit and stay there for a few days. It has been a massive adventure one that I have to say I do not want to go through again. Please don't worry, everybody. I am absolutely fine. And I want to thank my little guardian angel of Sam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was an experience. So very relieved to be out. This is my view outside of my window in Jakarta. Well now, I'll be like, no, I take my photo. <laughs>